Hello, everybody, and welcome to the TuckCast with a splash of bourbon. Presented by Tuckasuchi Fly Shop with locations in Bryson City and Silva, North Carolina. Be sure to follow the crew on Facebook at Tuckasuchi Fly Shop, Instagram at Tuck Fly Shop, and YouTube at Tuckasuchi Fly Shop for the latest information and instructional videos. Be sure to visit TuckFlyShop.com for all things fly fishing in Western North Carolina and beyond. Remember, the online store is always open. Yeah. I'm your host, Shannon Big Mess Messer, joined by Bobby the Bearded Wonder Bennett and coach Dale Diesel Collins. Get her done. Get her done. Yeah. Welcome, everybody, back to the TuckCast with a splash of bourbon live. As live as it can be. We're recorded here in the fly time section. If you were standing in here, it'd be live. Oh, it would be live. That's right. Well, if you're standing here, you'd be sweating too. Yes, absolutely. Interesting story. AC's out, folks. Oh, well, the AC works. Just don't drain. Yeah. Man, when Shannon called me on, what day was it? Friday? That was Friday. Friday. He called me. He said, how'd you put it about the electricity? I've got it. Uh, I've secured. I've, I've secured, secured like, the breakers. It sounded, it sounded like he was on the aircraft carrier, like yeah. he was calling the captain. Uh, here goes I've the Navy it. story. Here's the Navy story. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> Well, well, when John walks by and he goes, uh, we got water coming out of a light light fixture back here. I'm like, whoop, got us a good power. <laughs> yeah, you were like. Spring in we, action, baby. We, 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 got a, we got a water leak. We got a lot of water leak. I got the power secured. I got yeah. it. Got to go. Got to go. Yep. Got to go. Got it. Boom. Boom. Got We started. Yep, 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 then we started yep, 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 yep. isolating and troubleshooting a problem and then come to find out that uh, wasn't flooding upstairs. Thank goodness and, and happy for Terry and, and the young lady up there that there wasn't a you know, apartment yeah. flooding, uh, which could have been really bad. It would have been uh, nasty. It would have been real nasty. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, so just, just waiting on the uh, the folks to come and take care of that so we can get back up and running. And they're For, waiting on fall. Unfortunately, it has cooled off a little bit, too. The mornings have been fantastic. These 50-degree yeah. mornings um, are, are awesome right now, and glad to see those fish are responding. Water temps are real good. So it's, what did you see the other day, 58 on Catalucci or yeah, something? Yeah, 50 got down to 58. It was 59 this morning. Been yeah. topping out about 62 uh, up oh, there. Not bad. And that's at that gauging station um, above Little Catalucci. And, and and for you folks um, that are familiar with where it is, it's actually in a valley. So you go up the mountain, and then you come back down the valley. Mm-hmm. So you're not up in that 3,000-foot plateau. Yeah. You're in, you know, you're you're over two thousand, but mm-hmm. you're not twenty eight either. Right. Um, so right. it's a valley. Yeah. And where the gauging station is is actually lower. It may be sub two thousand hmm. uh, at that point. So that's a good, good temperature. Um, I know Straight Fork felt pretty good Saturday morning. Yeah. It woke me up. Yeah. And woke that's up, right. woke up, woke up. Bob and Cecil too. Well, you know, up. the daylight's getting shorter. Mm-hmm. You know, and and so yeah, the water's cooling off earlier. Yep. Um, so yeah, it's, it, we're kind of back to being able to you know catch fish throughout the full day yes so you know we've yeah. seen some full day trips carry on and mm-hmm. um, not necessarily worried about those hoot owl right self-imposed hoot owl restric- restrictions so yeah absolutely it's just uh we say the shoulder season but but i like september especially the end of september already observing some leaves you know mm-hmm. turning colors there were some pretty red maples Is that sycamores uh, or poplars by the river that are so changing you'll already. see some uh i've seen some yellow poplars uh some changing a little bit i've seen some maples in certain places yeah. but i don't know if he's looking at some beach uh, by the top uh, yeah, oh, i don't know i haven't driven by poplars the top. change a little earlier yeah i haven't driven by the top um yeah but yeah you so. need to go to bryson city man you'll see it yeah i did go i did go fish deep creek but it was like yeah yeah, I went looking for trees. Well, no, yeah. it. Uh, yeah, a guy came in the other day. He's like, "Oh, you know, it's too bad. Fishing's slow right now." I'm like, "No, mm. no, no. It's uh, mm. fishing's no. pretty good, actually." No. No. You and I both were kind of encouraging him there to. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You don't have to throw five x or six x. There's there's trout besides the South Holston. Yeah, same end of that. Never been there though. Like to one day. Yeah, absolutely. You we can go. You can row me. Row, you row, said you wanted to learn how to row, row the boat. Row, row, row the boat. <laughs> we'll the 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 That's all right. So anyway, um, just the three of us here this evening. And at the beginning, uh, 31 episodes <laughs> into this thing, uh, at the beginning, we, we actually interviewed each other, uh, interviewed Bobby, uh, interviewed Dale individually about each individual person. Uh, but we wanted to kind of bring to light 
both the owners in an owner aspect, not as individuals in an individual aspect. You want to make aspect. sure the stories match. So, uh, I, look, man, we're, 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 no. just you can say what you want to, man. I'm just kidding. As long as your hearts and minds are all clear, man, we're good. But anyway, you know, really to bring this together, because, you know, hearing Bobby's story, hearing your story, you know, you're catching the bass out there in the little creek, little creek channel, and, you know, Bobby, uh, you know, talking about his experiences and things. But really... We never had a chance to get both you guys together to talk about how this idea happened. Talked about it individually, but not like, okay, here, here's actually how everything went down. So, so here we are. And that's what we're going to dive into a little bit here today. Try to keep it, you know, under a certain time frame. But, uh, but off the bat, I want to know, because I've never asked you this, I don't think, and I may have, I'm just older, you know, all this white hair up here. <laughs> And it went, I got a little streak right here. It's not a booger. It's just Bobby's a, a little, up. little sooner. But uh, but there. anyway, how did you guys meet? Well, I don't remember. Bobby don't remember. There we go. I was on this street corner, and I had this bucket beside me. Keep it clean. And I had this cardboard sign, we'll work for food. <laughs> No, that's yeah. that's now. Yeah, yeah. I guess it's Justin, right? Yeah. I mean, I know Justin introduced us, but I don't remember where we met like, the first time. I don't it was remember. a fishing trip. We probably, I, I know there was one trip we rode around all over Ash County, looking for access on the New River. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty early on. Yeah. Because you still had that red Chevy GMC. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sierra. That was was uh, that the trip where we shut Justin's rod in the door? Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We ended up at the Daniel Boone restaurant and we fished the Wataga and we yep. shut the shut the rod tip in the door. Yep. Ooh. Mm. But yeah, I, uh, I honestly don't remember the first time we met. Right? But it was with one with it was on a fishing trip. Right. Yeah. Like, me and, you know me pick and us Justin up in Greensboro and we right. rolled somewhere. Me and Justin have known each other since we were kids and he met Dale through I guess church Yeah. Yep. You know? Okay. So So how crazy. long yeah. so with that being said, so we look at this the partnership here with six years. Right, maybe longer. I'm Seven, not if you count like planning. The and planning all that. aspect yeah. of it, right there. So, so with that being said, I, I know that you kind of talked about maybe doing a saltwater thing at, at one point in time. So, how did totally this whole melting pot of ideas kind of get thrown out there in the table and said, "Hey, let's go to north. Let's go up to the mountains and do something instead of you going to Charleston or wherever and you still coaching football and stuff." Well, I I had already moved up here and was uh, managing my buddy's pharmacies just on the front end because i'm man this fly is killing if y'all hear like a, it's because i'm blowing this fly off this mic is killing me um so yeah I, I was i was i was living here uh 2013 you know i guess we yeah it was 2012 actually moved up here so 2013 i'm here we buy a house and um you know managing my buddy's pharmacy robbinsville cherokee and Bryson City Pharmacy, just like I said on the front end, um, you know, had f some pharmacy tech stuff, but um, nothing, nothing too serious with drugs. Yeah. But um, so that's what I was doing, and <coughs> really was starting to fish a lot. Gotcha. I mean, a lot. You know, our house is a you know quarter mile from the river. Um, so yeah, just you know, how do we how do we turn you know your work into a passion? And I, I, I was really dying to, you know, branch out and entrepreneurial spirit of doing something. So, um, so I think we were just kind of both at a good spot to have the conversation, and you know, so we we spitballed the conversation on the phone. It's like you know, talk to Kara, and you know, I don't know, y'all were coming up and visiting us on the weekends and hanging out and. You know, I think yeah, for me too is is when Justin Justin and his wife moved to Texas. You know, I, I really made it a point to, um, you know, keep fishing with Bobby. You know, you, you know, you were living in Raleigh, I was living in Greensboro. We could easily say, well, Justin's in Texas. You know, we'll see you sometime, and then you never <laughs> right. never hear from him again. Yeah, but um, but I guess Bobby was just dumb enough to jump on the boat with me sometimes. So so who's whose idea? It was Dale's. So it was yours? Yeah. Okay. He came up with it. Or he yeah. saw the need for it, I guess. Yeah, I got you. Well, yeah, there was definitely a need for it. Right. And uh, I think timing is important. Sure. Uh, 2013, when the idea started rolling, you know, what? we're still 
in the recession, technically. I mean, if there was any growth, it was very minimal. Mm -hmm. But I remember driving through Bryson City, uh, 2000, I guess the middle 2000s. Right. And there's, I mean, boarded up fronts. I mean, for rent. I mean, it was bad. So um, the train situation changed that town tremendously. Um, and certainly the growth that the NOC experienced changed it tremendously as well. But, yeah, it, uh, you know, just said, hey, you know, it seems like we could do something here. Right. We, we wanted to bring a quality customer service experience to an angler where when they walk in, they're not judged by what they're wearing, their hat, or how they're dressed. Um, and they have, have what they need. I mean, that, that was the biggest thing. Have, have what folks need on a daily basis. Try to. We can't. I think that was the hardest thing for me to learn once we opened is that we just can't have it all. And Bobby still has to remind me. We can't have it all. Yeah. I'd like to. Like, I'm going to go see this new product tomorrow, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Ben, we're going we're gonna to get all that. Not. <laughs> so so I, I pull it back. Rain it in, man. Rain well, it in a little and bit. I, yeah. think, I think one way this works is, and maybe you're going to get to this later. I don't know, so I'll jump the gun. But go ahead. A lot of times is I, I'll – I'll come up with an idea, a dream, so to speak, and Bobby will tell me how much of that dream we can afford. Right. And, and that. that's how the, that's how it works. And yeah. you know, you have to you have to put your ego aside and and swallow some ambition and and say, okay, you know, for the big picture, this is what we need to do. So, but no, it um, yeah, there's there's just there was a niche to be filled in Bryson City in that time, and um, there was momentum to get a delayed harvest put in there. Um, Mountain Perks was very positive. I mean, it was a positive place. Still is a positive place. Um, and it's on a corner. That location of Bryson City is on a corner. Corner. McDonald's right. and Walgreens have made billions on corners in America. There you go. So we'd like to make some change on the corner in Bryson City. Gotcha. But in Silva, we're not on the corner. And we're, nope. We, but it's There's still, not really many corners here. Not really because of the way the town's shaped. Yeah. That's right. So you said the planning process good 12 months or so mm. kind of fast forward a little bit uh you've you've procured a location i've seen pictures of and at this point bobby was definitely i was already on his nerves calling him every day okay i'm sure i i, I see pictures I, I knew when his breaks were i'd call him i see pictures of the wife's in their painting uh they reminded me stacy might even Madeline have was in a chest pack chest pack Madeline or something like that yeah uh, Madeline would have been not even six months old wham you open mm -hmm. you open with little product enough what people need what people needed exactly right the important items that exactly people need. and that is flies leader and tippet yeah there you go and some fly line that's and right a few t-shirts and, and Go yeah hats. that's yeah. right and i and i said early on and in, in, especially in bryson city getting started we were a t-shirt and hat shop that just happened to have fly fishing stuff because there was so much tourism and mm -hmm. not a lot of anglers knew about us so we had way more people just coming in off the train and off the street and off the off the RV to check out our, our shirts. Then we had people knowing kind of like, like as in terms of a destination fly shop. So yeah. Uh, now I think that's, that's certainly different. Gotcha. Yeah. People come to us for fly fishing. Sure. For sure. Yeah. Did you want to model uh tuck CG fly shop? Like, a few other shops or did you look at others for inspiration and say, Hey, this is who, who we are. And this is how we want to get there. Yeah, I guess a little, we knew who we didn't want to be. Yeah. That's a fair answer. I mean, very clear, but Absolutely. I mean, I'll, I'll say, you know, there's some great shops, um, in the eight two eight area code. And, um, we certainly had them in our minds. Yeah. And I, I even, and I guess maybe it's the, the coach or the competitor in me that, you know, sees them and says, okay, this is how they do it. Is this a good way or can we do it better? Sure. And, and I think they, uh, you know, they probably do, do the same, maybe do the same thing to us. I don't know. Um, but I mean, I think outside of the region too, I yeah. mean, Mossy Creek up there in Virginia, man, they do a stellar job. Um, and you know, just, just some little things that they've done, you know, online orders, writing a handwritten note on the receipt. Thanks so much for your order from the owner. And man, that, that, that stuck out to me. High and dry does that. Do they? Their invoice, yeah. man. They had it on, they had a post yeah. on it. Thanks, <laughs> thanks so much for the business. I mean, that's important, you yeah. know. And so that's something that even, you know, when people buy from us, I want to try to remember to 
you know, put a little, you know, it's a ball ink pen note, but it says, and hopefully folks can read it, but it says, thanks for your order. You know, he gets those things printed up by the thousands and he just <laughs> sticks it on from Bob Nanny. If one looks like so. a doctor's signature, it's for me. I'm sorry, folks. <laughs> Signed too many car car contracts. He, is, back he in the has day. touched too many faulty breakers trying to secure them. <laughs> yes, it. doing the sixty hertz shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I mean that's why I'm so great these days. So now, I mean, yeah. you know, there's nice. there's uh, you know Davidson River. They mm-hmm. were certainly in our minds. Um, you know, if you walk into to Brookings, I mean that's a that's a beautiful shop too. And I think that's the that's part of it is the visual experience walking into a fly shop. Oh, absolutely! It has to be aesthetically pleasing and relaxing and comfortable, and but not intimidating. Right. Per the and conversation today. Which one about about the stuff on the wall? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. You know your your vision and dreams, and and, and Bobby's adding in, and mm-hmm. I just quietly just kind of like yeah, <laughs> play both sides of the fence because they're both right. But yeah, absolutely. That's I think that's the dynamic of co-owners. That you have to have, and unfortunately, you know, it may be easier not that you're real, you know, you're non related. Um, you know, you're yeah. just, there, there's yeah, no it blood relationship. Make it, it makes it easier. Yeah, um, there, I, I'm sure. It's like, uh, uh, I can equate it. If anybody out there is married, it's like trying to pick, pick a paint color with your wife. That's how it goes sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Like, if you've ever done that, you know how it goes. It's right. Like, I like this. I like that. I will say it's definitely been much peace, much more peaceful. Um, I think between us, like just like me taking a step out of the ordering, like, no, I want the orange one. No, I think the blue one's going to sell better. Like, you know, we don't have to argue over. Right. And, th- and those are constructive, you know, it things. Is. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I lost my train of thought there. At the end of the day, they all sell. Just how long does it take to sell it? That's yeah, it. That's yeah. right. Somebody that's- will like it. Yep. That's just the matter. Does it yep. fit within that budget? That's it. Yeah. You know, it's what's the budget? I I'm mean, sure there's the, people that like those new repair and Sims waiters, yeah, but uh, not necessarily. We the like best the fit. stuff that we don't have to mark down because it sells that. Good. That's exactly yeah. right. If you have to mark it down, it mm-hmm. wasn't a good decision. Yeah. yeah. So what was? So what's one of the biggest challenges? Um, uh, you know that that you're facing now that maybe you didn't face when you first opened, and it maybe it's because of growth or uh, things like that. Uh, I mean, definitely having time to do everything. And okay. still have, you know, go home and enjoy life. I think that's something. Because at first, it's like you're not busy enough to to worry about it. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, man, I hope 100 people walk through the door today. You know, and now you're like, I got to get this done today. Like, you're in that time restraint. So that's the, that balance, which everybody mm-hmm. in any industry has that. Sure. Once once you've grown it into something that's popular in some instances, you're going to deal with, you know, how much time do you have on your hands? And that's where, you know, hiring folks like you help with that so we can't do it all there's no way we can <coughs> yeah i think me. that's the biggest yeah. challenge in the last two years is you know in, in any you know business management book will tell you this that you know it comes to a certain point where for your business to grow you as the owner have to get out of the way of yourself especially so, in two shops now that makes it even that much harder yeah so growing it into two absolutely but i mean you know something that we had to do before now like in the man me and dale went forever without getting a paycheck like, tons of people out there will say, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. Man, if you want to do it, you'll sacrifice for it. And we did. Mm-hmm. We sacrificed. There was some very well, not lean. not just you and I, but the family. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Our, our entire group, I mean, there's a lot of lean times there where you're like, mm, well, we're not going to have that for dinner because that costs way too much. Even though it's only $15, it's cost way too much right now. Yeah. So, you know, there's those things that you – you know, we dealt with that in the beginning. And not to say that, man, we've struck it rich now. And no days right? off. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, I went a straight year with not one day off except for Thanksgiving and Christmas Day. I mean, it just is what it is. So, you know, to do it, you got to make that sacrifice. And it's a commitment. And, you know, luckily now we don't have to deal with that per se. Not Like I said, not that we've struck it rich by any means. But, Mm-mm. you know, I can have I can have TV at my house if I want to. <laughs> Yes. You know, there's some of those things that me and my wife completely cut out. Like, mm-hmm. you know what? It's not a necessity. Cut it out. Right. Well, I guess that's that. A, that y- you have to understand where we came from into this, too, is, I mean, we we saved up, you know, a little money. And that's, that's what we did this with. It's not like, you know, we were left in a state. Yeah, right. To, yeah. Do, to do this. Yeah. I mean, it was, um, it was, it was a lot. I sold a boat. Yeah. You sold a boat. 
Um, you sold a boat too, didn't you? Sell your boat? I, I did, but it was at well. It was after we opened. No, I, I did use that. Yeah. yeah, the Carolina Skiff. Yeah, it was, I remember. I remember. <laughs> I remember. I remember seeing it. Shannon knows about that. I boat. know. I see the boat. Oh that's man, right. I cried it. that day. That thing did rolled really? out of the driveway. I did. Yeah. I wasn't ready, but it needed yeah. to. It's what it's that sacrifice. Yeah. Like, you know, everybody says the the happiest days of boat ownership are when you buy it and when you sell it. Yeah. But for me, it was not when I sold it. But well, great news. Uh, I know where there's two setting at right now. And do you? Yeah. Boats. Oh. In your place. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking with a 25 horsepower. No, okay. no, no, no. No, that's human power. <laughs> I could go baby. back human to that. Right now. <laughs> um, that's yeah. right. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, no, the, the, yeah, we started with, with just a lot of hard work. Yeah. You know, and enough capital to, yeah. you know, Put enough, a little bit of fly line, tip it, and flies. Enough, in the there's yeah. enough helium in the tank to get the balloon off the ground. There you go. You know so, what I mean? I guess yeah. is the best way to put oh. it. So, yes. And there were, there were, you know, our, our names were drugged through the mud. Like, oh, you know, they don't have enough, or they'll never make it. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll give them six months. I mean, we heard all that. Sure. Um, but that only makes me ground harder. Yeah. You know, I mean, even today, we, we, we even still hear some things that shock us. <laughs> that challenge is like, yeah. oh, is that what you think? Yeah. Okay. See what happens. You know? Yeah. Watch right. that social media. See what happens. Sure. Absolutely. So um, I remember going in there, buying Alex a pair of gravel guard socks you, you guys first opened. Let's fast forward a little bit. I, 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 I come back in. Of course, I've been out there quite a bit. I walk in one day, and it looks like you're a Sims dealer. Mm-hmm. You, you remember you remember that it's like everything was like man my gosh all of a sudden oh i do yeah the store was retail store. the storm is packed in there but but that leads into you know you start to decide what brands you want to bring in yeah. into the business to represent because you are representing them and you're you need companies to stand behind you mm-hmm. as you represent those products so how did that come about and, and how did those relationships well, we start? have been you mean as far as like the products and sure Sims yeah I, yeah absolutely well you know fortunately um, there was it, it, going back to that timing, mm-hmm. you know, so there was good timing, um, for, um, dealers to grow a fr- footprint in Western North Carolina, I guess is the best political way to yeah. put it. We you somehow know. found the, like the beginning of a wave. Yeah. So, Lucked you know, we brought in Reddington, um, Rio. We weren't even a Sage dealer yet when we first opened, um, waited a little bit on that. Um, but you know, with Sims, we were we were with Waterworks Lamson, and Sims is a logo. So like you know, a lot of our logo hats and Sims had a great selection of logo stuff back then in terms of apparel. Um, so not really on waiter side yet or boots, but um, but we had grown that logo um, presence really well with Sims, and so it, it kind of displayed okay, there's some there's some brand power here in this market. Yeah, some um, of them you just got to prove yourself. Sure, like that's okay, a lot of it. They, they they've grown the brand, they pay their bills. You know that's pretty important. Yeah, so, <laughs> got to build that credibility. And, and then they go, okay, all right, well, yeah, let's open them up. There so, and that was that was hard for me to sit on my haunches and just wait. Yeah, because I'm not a patient person. You know, it it, it seems like, well, if, if 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 I'm confident, I can sell it, and we're going to pay our pay our bill, then you should give it to us. I mean, but there's. You know, there's you know vetting process that the reps put you through. Yeah. So. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, um, so we look at where we're at now. Was it six years? August first, it was o- six years. August first mm-hmm. was six years. Congratulations on that. Uh, now you're location number two. Was that ever something that you thought of uh, seven years ago I, would happen? I mean, the dynamic was different. I think about that a lot. Um, there was um, Jason Cole and Hooker's here on Main Street. And so you know, there wasn't really any room for us to come in. And and so um, the timing wasn't right here. I, 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 I lived over here. Um, Bobby was, I don't know if, were you, yeah, you were up here. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, in terms of, like, when we were thinking Bryson City or Silva or, you know, wherever, I think it, I think it fit Bryson City better than it did Silva. So, but in our minds, like, man, it'd be cool to have a shop where we live, you know, and, and be a part of that community as well. Um, because the Jackson County Silva fly fishing community is just as storied in, um, 
Fishing? Familiar. <laughs> I think, well, it's com- no, it's, it's, it's as communal as Swain County. Right. Yeah. And then it's a tight knit community as for as far as you know people growing up their pet balls taking yeah. on fishing you know the deal sure. you grew up over here yeah. so um, it was important to be a and, and humbling and 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 awesome opportunity to be a part of that experience. Gotcha. This is where okay. I was going over there. Yeah. So but yeah, from the beginning, two locations weren't on our mind, but okay. I'd say eighteen months to two years in, it was. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> it was so, like, hey, is there an opportunity for it? And we didn't have Silva picked necessarily, but it was like, sure. you know, you start putting your feelers out. And well, and in, a, in a, another conversation, Bobby reminded me that at first I was, I was not, I, w- I was opposed. At first, I was opposed to coming over here. Which We're, is surprising because he's usually the one that's like, let's spend the money. That is. But that he is was funny. like, no, nah, man, I don't <laughs> think we should spend the money on that. And I was like, I think we should. Yeah. That's interesting. Did yeah. not know that. I would have thought that you would have been the one like boom, 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 and Bobby just said, "Ah, maybe let's think about that." Yeah, I think we were with you one night when we saw the location. No, I walked by. Well, we might have seen it. I walked by. I mean, been on going to innovation when or we, something when after we first, like, Yeah, I know. I think we was <laughs> when, when we first hammered it home. Was yeah. when me and Kara walked around that night, and I took a picture of the actual yeah. number and, and sent you it to me. You. I remember yeah. that text. And saying we need to call and just see. Isn't that something? That's cool. So, what are some of the challenges that uh, that you're facing now that that uh, that uh, hopefully I didn't ask this already that, that you didn't face you know three years ago four years ago? You did uh, ask that already. Did I? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but uh, anyway, COVID. But, but, Same I things. mean, I mean, it's I mean, <laughs> it, it is because I don't have this written down. I'm just going off the top That's of my right, head man. here, folks. But still, I mean, going forward, what kind of vision do you have? Maybe. F- not only short term, let's say short term, let's consider short term in that that three to five year window. Bass then, Pro Shops, then, watch out. And then long term, <laughs> no, seriously, <laughs> long term, long term, don't five, tell us five to ten. I mean, you guys, these are conversations and, you guys are having. I hope to still be open. This fly is bothering me now. <laughs> yeah. he, he was over here on the roadcaster on the Bluetooth thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I think um, I remember getting asked this question by a former employee is maybe for one of his entrepreneurial classes at WCU about that. And I was like, man, honestly, sometimes you just cannot think that far ahead. Like I, I, you know, I've had to, I've talked about Bobby with this on the calendar. I I live my life one day at a time and, and thinking about, you know, planning stuff out eight months. I'm like, well, I I don't know. You know, it's like, it's very intimidating to me. So, um, so, I, you know, off the cuff, you know, yeah, five years, I just hope to still be having the doors open and still in business and, and serving people. Um, you know, outside of that, I, I never say no to an opportunity. I mean. Yeah, I think I'm, I'm, I wouldn't say I've got a bunch planned out for the business in five years or whatever, but I'm more of like the situational, oh, okay, that's happening. Mm-hmm. Well, can, you know, How that's, all, that's right what now. business is, is about adaption and how do you take advantage of scenarios that can make you more money? So you're just always like, oh, is that a good idea? Is this a good idea? You know, whether that's another location or expanding the store or whatever it may be. Product, you know? even product to bring in. Yeah, different right. different brands coming up. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, I'll call them small because a lot of, I mean, Tacky Flybox is a great example. You know, eight years ago, that was like a little startup. Or Kickstarter. Seven years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And it turned into a big thing that now Fish Pond bought them out, you know? So there's, like, those little things that you kind of keep your eye on that's, like, that could be the next big hit. Sometimes it's a bust. Sometimes it's not. So you kind of just watch out for it. But in terms of, like, the overall business, man, I don't really it's have. Tough. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's you know, you know, we, we try to sure. have that growth every year Yeah, that we, we expect. or or And that's part of growing business as far as customers and growing inventory because, the more you have hopefully the more you sell and things like that so there's always that just little growth every year slow and slow and uh what's the uh slow and slow and steady slow and steady wins the race, slow and steady. Steady wins the race. Um, growth yeah. you know the big boom which happened for us in the first year or two but that's because it took off now it's just that slow and steady keep climbing you mean that spike right when the 2016 election was over yes yeah that the, spike the spike that election that, year man that, that was incredible so <laughs> but yeah, I wish I had a better answer for that, Shannon. Yeah. I don't. Well, no, it's that's that's cool, man. You might ask that because you're an employee. Going, what am I? Gonna, excuse <laughs> me, where am I going to be in five years? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I don't know if I, I may have the same philosophy that that you guys yeah. do. I mean, it's all opportunity 
driven, right? Uh, things I mean, happen. somebody could come in here tomorrow and ask, offer us a billion dollars, and I'd be like, like shit, dude, so enjoy working for this I'm guy. like, dude, you, <laughs> you need to take it. You need to take it. I know I would be like, you need to take that. I'll be your broker or whatever yeah, at so. that point. But, but no, I, I think that um, I'm, I'm kind of like y'all, and, and, you know, opportunities come for whatever reason, and things happen the way they're supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I truly, truly believe that, and people come together um and it, and it just it works out well i can uh, i can confidently tell you this and in, in three to five years i still want to be able to solidly you know provide for my family yeah to, to have as good or better um life as i had growing up there for my go. kids i mean I, I can tell you that 100 mm -hmm. percent because that's yeah. i think that's another thing that gets missed in this and you see the marketing and fly fishing and um you think it's you know there's this big bucket of money in there yeah but I mean, this is this is paying my bills. This is putting my kids in, you know, rec league soccer. This this is this is my gas tank too. You know, that's what I'm saying. It's, this is paying bills. This ain't no hobby. Right. So I was at when I was at that masters practice round. I got to go yeah. to. Yes. We were watching this guy tee off on number sixteen, right there around the amen corner and all that. It was Kevin, 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 Kevin. He's a cool dude, Georgia boy. Okay, and you know, we're at Augusta, and this guy, man, it's a monster tee shot. And this guy yells out right in his backswing, This ain't no hobby. Whoa! You know, it's just like so <laughs> redneck, but so perfect for a practice <laughs> round in Augusta oh for a Georgia God. boy. Oh, my. But no, that's what I think yeah. of. I was like, This ain't no hobby. Yeah, we got to get after right. it. Yeah. Right. You know, every like, day. I think there was one day I kind of scared Shannon. I, uh, Shannon, <laughs> there was one day where there was like a lot happening, like, there were some moves being made, and I was just jacked. I was like the guy in The Wolf of Wall Street, like, I'm jacked, jacked to the hilt, you know? And um, and I think you kind of thought I was, like, I don't know, inebriated or on something. I can't remember. Man, yeah, episode, and Bobby's yeah. like, dude, are you okay? He's like, dude, no, I was just pumped. Like, we yeah. were going to get this done. Oh, okay, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Like, one of those deals. You, you ain't coming in on me. Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> So now, obviously, we, we look at the services that you guys offer, started off as a fly shop, worked into the guiding aspect of it, and, and of course, that's, that's a difficult thing to continue to do, uh, but rewarding. Uh, now, we kind of, you guys started the destination, the hosting trip mm -hmm. thing there, yeah. man. So kind of where we talked about it last week, a lot of positive feedback, uh, people interested right. in that. Where do you kind of see maybe that thing going, or, what, or kind of what's well, the vision? Or I think, what would you I like think to the do? vision for that to become is like, okay, um, you know, establish shops, have that offering, mm -hmm. you know, and that, so that was kind of like when we we're able to do that, we felt like we'd be at that point. And so, I don't know, that's, that's kind of, and, and so obviously part of that vision is we want to grow that to other destinations. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We do the Montana one, but you know, maybe a redfish or some type of saltwater or South America, something or other. Yes. Things get back to whatever normal is going to look like. Yeah. I mean, I think we would have expanded that a little bit more into next year, but it looks like uh, everybody knows we and Dale were supposed to go down to Argentina and we couldn't. So um, we're going to do some research <coughs> and development. R and D, yeah. baby. R and D. But you know that got Patagonia. put on hold with COVID. So you know it might be a 2022 thing. I don't know. We'll we'll have to see how airports and countries and who knows how everybody responds on that. But I mean, I'd like to see at least every. Every season we have some type of destination. Okay. So maybe there's a winter, you know, hey, what's the yeah. winter destination? What's the summer destination? What's the fall destination? Like a quarterly yeah. trip. Yeah. Okay. Where, and it may be more than one in that quarter. Like this year, y'all, you know, we had two Montana trips. Last year we had three. Um, so maybe there's multiple in that season, you know, just depending. But it's the, maybe the same destination those two, three times. So... You know, it's one of those things where it just kind of, you see if the opportunity grows. It's like the podcast, man. This wasn't something we planned. Me and you talked about it. Me and Shannon did. Mm -hmm. And it was like, yeah, let's well, try it. Ran it by Dale. And then, and then I we like, talked to well, you a little just, bit. Yeah, and it yeah. was very intimidating to me. And I just didn't feel yeah. like I had the energy to yeah. pour into researching this stuff. And yeah. I said, hey, that's all y'all. If you can do it, let's do it. And, yeah. man, great job. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of like that. It's like growing little by little and learning the ropes but i you know i had to i trusted that you guys were gonna get this right and that's getting out of the way of myself yeah so somehow i think we we got lucky like a blind squirrel we found the nut and it just kind of grew from I mean, that in five years man we might be 
just doing podcasts. We could be headliners. We could be. You Can't never get know. Getting paid man. by social. What did I tell you? It was 19 countries. We got listeners. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? Something like oh, that. Oh wow. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Subscribership on YouTube's growing, so keep yeah. doing that too. Share that yeah. with your folks Absolutely. there. That's that's important though. I guess that's another thing there. If you look at how marketing has changed. Marketing is the yesterday. hardest. Since that yesterday. might be the hardest thing. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, yeah. and it's all on me. Thanks, yeah. guys. Do you think that's marketing your biggest is, challenge? Do you think? Do you think that's the biggest challenge? Oh, yeah. is marketing because it, it, it could be you, you could have a thousand dollars and half of it's going to get wasted. So there, I had the opportunity to get a marketing professor from um, a school in Alabama. I'm in not Alabama? Gonna, no, a school in Alabama. I'm not going. It wasn't Alabama or Auburn, Auburn. but it's one of those. Other ones smaller that everybody forgets. Yeah, um, Alabama Birmingham. It might have been Sam Hunts. There's the Alabama Huntsville. I, I mean, yeah. it could have been. I don't. I don't. I can't remember. Super nice guy. We put. We, yeah. we went on the Brook Trout trip. But it's like, hey man, how do I know what what marketing if it's going to work or not? And he's like, it works fifty percent of the time. You just don't know which one works. And that's that's the best way to sum it up. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you in in six years. Um, what we feel like we've gotten returns on what we haven't, you know, and, and we no longer, you if know, you really want to know, we'll consult you. That's it. Yeah. There's an opportunity. We've done some of that. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so I know, yeah, marketing's because like I said, it's, it's changed Yeah. since yesterday. I no, mean, really Facebook has. changes everything every day, almost. Social and, media has changed marketing completely, but then like Dale said, man, they change it. I mean, there's some, there's some shops around Western North Carolina that have like 30,000 likes and it was back and i don't know if people remember this but it, back in the day you could you could pay for likes essentially so you could boost a post and people might like your page and totally they're not interested but now facebook's got it more dialed into they're really only going and they've changed it even in the last week and i think i was telling you about or maybe it was stacy i get y'all confused with my wife sometimes <laughs> so whoa <laughs> Sorry, babe. So, but, uh, you know, I, I, Facebook changes um, who gets to see our content. And sometimes they will suppress our content, I feel like, because they want us to pay for it. You know, and so maybe maybe we do need to play that game. I don't know. Uh, sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Um, but, you know, they, they are trying to at least put it in front of authentic people that their algorithms <laughs> think are going to, yeah. enjoy seeing it so. people that fish or hunt or kind of that outdoorsy mm -hmm. vibe based on your behavior as a listener yeah. or customer on your behavior on facebook so i don't know yeah, yeah it's it's weird man I, like you know billboards used to be the big thing and I, I, they're still out there obviously but man i never look at billboards and then dale be like man did you see that billboard with this and i'm like <laughs> dude i don't look at them so it's that whole thing there's 50 percent. he yeah, sees right. them i don't right. you know yeah that's where I'm like, billboards don't work. And yeah. Dale's like, no, they do. <laughs> I mean, I saw one today and I was like, I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't looked up. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. <laughs> so it's the only ones I looked at were, Shannon, you may not, because you grew up here, you probably didn't know this, but when you went down the south of the border, oh, did you ever gosh. go there and see the Pedro? Five more bill? miles to Pedro. Uh, when I oh, when, when I finally got, I, I did see the south of the border. <laughs> here's, As a kid, man, I love I'd never seen things. it as Roy a kid. Cooper's, Roy Cooper's favorite. Okay. 2.5 miles to see Pedro. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Set to coincide with 2.5. Phase 2.5. Yeah. Phase 2.5. Phase, phase 2.55 is coming next. Oh, my uh, heavens. That is hilarious. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> yeah, but so, uh, obviously, we're, we are where we are, and it's, it's been, a, been a great ride so far. Little ups and downs and, and stuff like that. But, but what, what has been the, uh, I'd say, maybe like the most exciting time? The most exciting thing that's happened to you guys could be individually or, or together. Every as, day. As a, <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. There you go, man. Yeah. Always. The gratification, man. right? Uh, no, I remember um, kind of what got me, um, I guess, interested into business ownership was um, we went, Bobby and Justin and, uh, and myself and our wives all went down to Belize together. And while we were down there, I had a friend of mine uh, back in Davidson County do some hardwood flooring work in my house. Well, you know, we had to pull everything out of the house. And it was perfect because if we're going to be, you know, in Belize, then they got they just fix the house while we're gone. 
Yeah, it's real easy. We're out of their way. They can just work. And so, I mean, they did a wonderful job. And um, if anybody needs some work down there, let me know. I can give you some numbers. Uh, but the the buddy that, that it was his company, he was he was macro fishing the whole week down at the North Carolina coast while his crew's putting hardwood floors in my house. I'm like, wait a minute, he's fishing. But I just wrote him a check. <laughs> that's what he used to go fishing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so we're, that's paying the credit card bill, right? So, um, so I think that's what kind of got my wheels turning is how, how do I have a passion where I can enjoy the passion, but still provide. Yeah. And that's, I, I mean, Montana, you know, they, there's, there's, there's some work that goes on in the host side up there. Um, but, but certainly like the three extra days that John and I spent up there, you know, I was really able to kick back and relax and, you know, know that things were in good hands here and that we were still serving customers, you know, but I'm, I'm up there, you know, fishing in some of the most beautiful places in the country and, um, things are still operating here. Yeah. That's kind of like the full circle experience for me. Okay, cool. How about you, Bobby? What about you, Bobby? I'm just, I want to know when Dale's doing all this, like traveling and fishing. I'm here working. He's talking about that's what he's wanting to I do. I ask you all the time, man. Uh, Come on. <laughs> Joe Joe told you next time you better get on that plane. Um, <laughs> no, I do agree with him. I mean, that is part of, I remember my uncle, he owned a uh, portage on business. That stinks. And it does. But he always said <laughs> the, check, well. the checks smell great. It pays well. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he said they don't stink man oh man so uh he, he told me he's like man great. saturdays and sundays he's like i have no guys working and those things are sitting on properties and i'm getting paid every day they're there yeah he's like so i'm making money on a saturday and sunday and there's no overhead at all yeah. and i was like man that was brilliant that's right, right. yeah and, and that's how a port john basically works you know yeah. he, he was down there by fort bragg so he rented out to the military yeah he'd have 40 toilets sitting out there on a drop zone that he only had to clean twice a year when they did a big drop you know, yeah. when everybody jumped out of the airplane. So it's like he was just getting paid for those to sit there. So, you know, that does get your wheels turning. Like, how do you make money without having to be present all the time? Mm -hmm. um, which just because he had that and just because we have this and just because Dale's buddy had a flooring business, you put a lot of time in. Oh, and yeah, to be clear, he had it yeah. to that point. That dude probably worked 60 hours that week before he went on that fishing yeah. trip. You know, like there's all that to be said for mm -hmm. it. But there is that time where you're like, man, I wasn't there today and – the business made money. That's awesome, you know? Yeah. So, but to talk about what was, like, one of the most things that we were probably, man, I remember when we got our first shipments oh. of product in, and we were like kids, man, on Christmas. <laughs> we were like, oh, dude. <laughs> they came to Dale's house, and we yeah. were, like, in the living room, and there was cardboard <laughs> and plastic. and came to your house. Yeah, they did. Yeah, we didn't even have the brick-and-mortar address with them yet. That's yeah, cool. So, yeah, there's still a couple things that his, his address is listed as the address. Um, that's the reason every now and then he gets a piece of mail, but um, yeah, it's, that was that was pretty cool. That's you know? cool. And probably uh, the first day we opened back up after COVID, yeah. <laughs> I was pretty excited. Yeah, yeah I think uh, when, when when I got yeah. to, I think you texted, <laughs> "Come on back to work." Yeah, yeah come come I was back to work. So excited to be you able know? to come back to work. I was right? enjoying yeah. the time because it was like it was chill, but it's like come on back to work. Uh, but yeah, I could, that's awesome. I was man. just glad I wouldn't be on ladders again for a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was on ladders with Ben there for a couple weeks, three weeks. But there's a lot of good things, too, That's man. Cool. When you get, like, a kid on his first fish or yeah. something. You know, there's things like that, the little micro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man, that was awesome. The small victories. Like, small Dale, that, that kid yeah. that you got that video where he did that. Uh, oh, the, the, the bow, bow and arrow. arrow cast and caught that brown. Yeah. Man, there's just things like that. That's cool. That's, like, little little uh, notches in the belt where you're like, man, that was a good day. You know? That's cool. And they're just, they'll continue to come. That's cool. I'm sure while we do this. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely. Well, that's awesome. Well, I know that uh, kind of jumped in this before doing any of the uh, the local happenings or anything like that there, but uh, we're approaching about that forty five minute mark. Get a fishing report here in just a moment. Is there any one final thing you'd want to say before we kind of get into that and get out of here? Or? I will say to anybody that wants to start a business, it's extremely scary, and you just got to jump. The cliffs there. You just got to say, man, the parachute will open. I mean, that's really it. Uh, there's nothing else you can do. Everybody can say, oh, you got to do this and this. If you're not willing to make that jump and sacrifice, it probably won't happen. Yeah. So it's just you got to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dale seconds that. 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. Doesn't matter what business mean, it is. I'm just thinking, you know, I, yeah. I think if anybody could do this on their own, um, you know, I think this works because it is two of us. Yeah. If if anybody can be a visionary and know exactly what they can afford um, all the time. Yeah. You know, and take, like you say this a lot, take the emotion out of it. Yes. Then that's a special person, but that's not me. Yeah. I mean, and even I, if you, even if you had like really deep pockets and you had as much money as you needed, that doesn't mean you're not going to throw a million dollars away trying it and failing. Yeah. Right. Just because you have money doesn't mean it will be We've successful. We've seen that happen. Yeah. So oh, yeah. it still takes <laughs> sacrifice and effort and hard work. Yes. Um, so it doesn't matter if you've got all the money in the world. I mean, yeah. there's plenty of billionaires out there that probably have lost a billion dollars. Yeah. So because they've failed a lot. So Absolutely. don't don't think that failure is a problem. It's just you've got to work through it. Cool. You've got to make a bad decision and get to the good one. Yeah, man. Would you would you do it again? Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. There you go. That was quick too, man. That's yeah. what I was looking for. That's awesome. <laughs> absolutely. That's fantastic. Well, I, I certainly, you know, appreciate the opportunity to to be here, be an employee, be part of Tuck Fly Shop, hopefully add to it, contribute, help it grow and make it bigger and grow it exponentially. Man, your stream fishing reports are breaking social media. Breaking social media, man. I want to be I the... I got another one going up tomorrow. Dude, so Everybody we, loves it. We want to be the people. It's the beard. Uh, and, and hopefully I can help us get to I that record, point. I record one and all somebody says is something about my hat being stretched and they feel sorry <laughs> for it. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Th- that wasn't me. Just so you know, <laughs> I didn't do that. I didn't plant nobody to do that. Well, that's cool, man. What so, were you saying? No so, but, but, it is, but it is great to be here. It, it means a lot to me and what you think about me and, and my abilities or lack thereof or uh, be, because it is a big part of our family because the decision that y'all make, uh, mm. you know, affects us. And you have to have that burden on your you know on your shoulders there as you per se and i actually counted one time this was back before covid yeah um that any decision we make because you're talking kids you know spouses yeah. actually the empl- mm-hmm. and all the guides and everything man it was like 36 people which doesn't sound like a lot but when it's on you yeah. or me and dale like right. that decision's pretty dang important yeah that it's that many people that mm-hmm. it affects through the through yeah. the trickle down of it sure. so yeah yeah it's Super yeah. important to make yeah. a good decision if it you is. can. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> As we'd say, yes. the only wrong decision is no decision, and then that's you can right. reevaluate it. Yeah. That's, that's, right. that's a military thing I was taught there for sure. Well, good deal. Uh, folks, if you have any questions, you know, don't forget to hit us up. Uh, you can shoot us an in, uh, email and info at Tuck Fly Shop. You got, a, you got a question you want us to answer on air. Um, I've been getting emails about fly tying stuff and, mm-hmm. and been conversing with people, and that's been great. And I want to thank you folks for – for, for doing that. I am by far not an expert in, in anything, um, you know, um, but it's it's great to you be able to, to secure the breakers. That makes you an expert. I secured the breakers so we didn't have a fire, and I think people were very happy about that. John was. Yeah, I mean, that could have been a bad situation, but it, it, it averted, of course. But uh, but keep those coming. Uh, current events, we did have some things happen. Um, Smoky you, Mountain National Park is completely open. Completely open. Everything. Backcountry sites. Thirty day all reservations all now. Dude, yeah, everything. Dude, Catalucci was sold out. Was yeah, it? Yeah, Deep Creek yes. was packed. It was sold out. Yeah. Yeah. So boom, everything's rocking and rolling there. This 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 I told you guys this this Labor Day weekend felt normal. It did. I agree. Yeah. No, it didn't feel like there was a pandemic. Yeah. So uh, Nanahala Gorge was packed. Uh, it, it really, I, I hung out at Endless River Adventures a lot this weekend, and they were just slammed, and it was just so good to see. And Juliet reminded me that, you know, it was Labor Day weekend last year that the landslide started happening in the gorge. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and they lost that entire weekend of, yeah. of revenue. So, uh, super excited for those folks. Yeah. The Cherokee was was uh, very busy getting getting my folks up to the up to the water. Oh, there. that's right. The tournament was this. It weekend. was <laughs> tournament. The campground seemed to be. I won't get how many there. cans of corn do you think a, you drove past? I had a couple guys come in the shop Man. and they were like, Brother. "Hey, we're gonna fish tomorrow." And they were talking about training. I was like, "Are y'all fishing that tournament?" And they were like, "Yeah, yeah." What do you think about it? And I was like, mm. "I heard they only stuck like 200 tagged fish in the whole thing." I was like, "Man, there's gonna be a lot of people. I, I wouldn't. I'm just. That's just not me. I don't that's enjoy right. fishing. Some the folks crowds. love it. Let Some me, people love it. Yeah. Let me just say this: on our adventure up to where we fished, and it was a great morning for Robert and Cecil, and Cecil got a fantastic brown trout. First, first, first fish on a fly rod. Um, we we chuckled a little bit. Mm-hmm. We 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 chuckled a little bit. But anyway, it's a big revenue generator for the tribe down there, and it helps the fisheries. And, yeah, and oh, absolutely, keeps it, it does. going. So absolutely. Uh, October seventeenth, definitely want to hit on this right quick. We'll have the Norvice demo days. That's coming up here October seventeenth. So be sure to get that on your calendar. 
Um, so that's that's another local happening. Other than that, it seems to be we're in 2.5. For us, we seems like business is normal for us here, but uh, there's still some restaurants doing takeout. All the restaurants and breweries are open. So yeah, so it, it feels like all you can go to the gym thirty percent of the time. Yeah, <laughs> get your get your bookings in. You know, <laughs> fall right. fall is booking up, so get those if you've got some dates that you want to get here hey, with us. If do that. The smallmouth has turned on again. Yes. So with mm-hmm. the rain kind of yeah. like we're hitting a dry spell here, this is good. So if anybody listening wants to get out and do some smallmouth fishing, we got about another six week window to there do that. Go. So you heard it right there. So, so for the fishing report, it's see. going up tomorrow. We, we won't even put one on the podcast. What is it on Facebook? Is that where it's going up? Yeah. Uh, well, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instagram only allows sixty seconds. Yeah. So okay. oh, I didn't do. So this. go check out. To, go yeah, check out my Facebook. Bad. It's all right. My bad. So yeah, it'll be on it'll be on Facebook and maybe Twitter. I think Twitter. And we'll probably throw it up on YouTube. I yeah. guess yeah. probably too. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. We go and do one now though as well no. I, marvin's calling me in okay. about 30 seconds okay yeah and well, i'm gonna do one with the article they can go fly. check out Facebook. Man, all right or so YouTube. so this week folks you've got to go to our social media platforms there to catch the bearded wonder. updated fishing report and it's a darn good one too by the way absolutely well good deal man it's great glad to have the opportunity to be here and come to your folks radio home once again and all the social media radio thanks for letting me come into your home Walter Cronkite, when they used to read the news. Well, good deal, folks. We're going to close this bad boy out. We want to thank everybody for listening to the Tuckcast with a splash of bourbon presented by Tuckasichi Fly Shop. Be sure to follow Tuckasichi Fly Shop on all the major social media platforms for all the latest happenings and latest videos. Have a question or comment, send them to info at tuckflyshop.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next week. <laughs>